So in the previous video we looked at cube numbers. In this video we're going to look at cube roots, much like we did with square roots. So in the cube numbers video we looked at uh, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 27 is the square, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, not the square number, it's the cube number, while the 3 is the cube root of 27. So by cube root, I mean the number that is multiplied by itself three times to make 27. And we signify this using a symbol that is very closely related to the square root symbol, but we put a 3 here, okay? So we signify that to mean the cube root of 27. And the cube root of 27 is the 3. So you will be expected to be able to do something like write down what the cube root of 8 is. And 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, so the cube root of 8 is 2. Now there are some numbers... Um, so if I said something like, what is the cube root of 24? 24 is not a cube number, so the answer to this would be a decimal. So that would be on a calculator paper. So you need to be able to find the cube root of a number using your calculator. Now, on a Casio like this, there is a button for cube root, and it is found, um, it's in yellow, and looks like that. So it's in yellow, and or orange, and it is above the actual button for the square root symbol. And in order to get anything that is in the orange on the calculator, you need to press shift first. So you need to press shift and then the square root button to access the cube root button. So once you've done that, you can then press 24 and then press equals and you should get something like 2.8844 etc. So you can see that the answer is between 2 and 3 because the number 24 is between 8 and 27. So that is how you find a cube root using your calculator. Now depending on your brand of calculator, it might be slightly different, but there should be a way of you writing or finding the cube root. If you cannot find a cube root anywhere, and you don't have a button even that looks like this, for which you would be able to choose that number to be 3. If you don't have that either, then the only way around it is to use, I would assume that you have this button, and then um, in a bracket, or right as a fraction, do 1 divided by 3. So something to the power of a third means the same thing. But that's only if you don't have any of these buttons and can't find the cube root anywhere.